What's up, people? Good morning. I hope everybody has a great day and a beautiful day as I will. Keep a smile on y'all face. But I do want to let other people know I ain't never ran from nobody. The only way I have avoided fights unless my kids is around or involved. And see, unlike some people that want to talk about my kids and this and that, same people that called CPS on my kids. Same people that call CPS on my kids want to run them out about my kids. But yet, see, I'm a real man. Cause see, I love my kids dearly. Cause I will run and let, lose my own life and everything in it for my kids. I'm gonna take a bullet for my kids. And you know, when I got my kids taken away, and someone knew that I that I could lose my kids if I fought with anybody. So they pulled up to my house and started doing that rat yap running and mad because I didn't go on the road with them and try to say I made excuses, but all you hear are excuses out there. Oh, I ain't gonna do this. I ain't doing that because of this and that. It was really about their life. They wouldn't give a shit about none of that. They'd do what they say, you know what I mean? Everybody knows that. But none of it ever gets done. And like I said, I didn't go up on the road because I had my kids. Because, see, I'd rather chose my kids to live with me and be back with his father and their and mother than to go step on the road and fight with somebody with some childish ass shit because like they said, I was just having a bad day. So I wanted somebody to pick with. And they told me that they selves over the cell phone. And I put that on the Holy Bible, Jesus Christ. I put that on my dead daddy's grave and on all my kids' life. That was their words. And got mad because I didn't stoop to their stupid childish level. And got mad because I made fun of them. But I'm not arguing back and forth. I'm not doing this shit no more. It's, it's fucking old. Hearing the same shit over and over. The same shit. Next thing you know, they're going to bring up shit that happened in 2021. Shit that happened in 2022. They ain't bringing up shit that happened in 2023. You know what I mean? And they always want to take shit out of my out of contents and my stuff and my stories that I tell people about anything in my life. And they feel they get some type of way and they want to argue. They want to do all this and that bullshit. And then they get mad because it don't go out the way they want it to. And instead it goes over and over, back and forth, stupid shit. Like, I'm just done with the same shit. Like, everybody's going to get their story time of all the shit that's been happening. And the true fucking shit. Not no fucking lies. Not no this, that. No, I'm going to fucking tell the truth. Because I'll be real with anybody. I ain't got time for this shit no more. I'd rather spend time with my kids, enjoy my life, ain't got to worry about shit. I ain't got to worry about somebody giving me fucking old fucking same threats I've been hearing since 2021. I ain't got to hear the same shit no more. Like, I'm not worried about that shit. Y'all want to talk all that same shit, recording shit, going back and forth? Hey, do it with your own lives. Because see me, I'd rather live my life happy, free, and joyful, and don't give a fuck about anybody. And I said it once, and I say it again. First time motherfuckers come around my house, start videoing my shit, start doing all that and trying to video my kids. Like they even said it their sales. If your kids are in it, I'll just keep it for myself. And that video is on Unis Uncensored. You can go look, anybody can go look at that video on Unis Uncensored. But like I said, I'm not going back and forth. I'm not doing this childish shit, this petty shit with fucking old ass people that can't get off my fucking dick that is so petty that they gotta try to start drama and like i said they'll never stop they'll never stop coming around my house they'll never stop coming around here just to try to see if they can start shit when we've been here in the same shit i'm gonna stop by your house and, and video your house the whole time until you come outside this and that like no it's it's fucking old all this shit's old see i don't feed my i see when i i don't feed my old lady and my kids broken shit Oh, I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to stop doing that and then start up again. No. See, me and my old lady actually did talk, you know. And like I told her, I'm just done with this shit. I'm not dealing with this shit. He want to talk all that shit about my kids, about me, spread these lies that nobody even believes in no more because I done showed all the fucking lies they done put on me already. Then I'm going to tell everybody about all these fucking lies real soon. And they can threaten me and they can say they can do this and they can say they do that and get mad at me. I don't give a shit. This shit don't bother me. Because I ain't got time for them. I ain't got time for their childish negative shit. 
because they miserable in their lives and they always want to start up on pop. They always want to start up again and guess who they're going to blame? They're going to blame pop. They're going to say it's all my fault. No, you're doing it on your own. So at the end of the day, you want to do all that and yeah, yeah, like little kids? Go ahead and do that kid shit. I ain't got time. See, I'm going to do what grown men do and that's live my life and do what I got to for me and my kids. Not that bipolar shit. And not that run mouth shit. I'm actually doing what I got to for me and my kids. And if anybody got some type of way or says any or this and that about what I said about how I live for my kids. And how I didn't come on the road and fight with somebody to lose my kids. Then right there shows you just a piece of shit yourself and you ain't no real father. Because see I fought for my kids and I got all my kids living with me. And that's a fact. And see even me and my old lady will ever break up. My kids are going to stay with me. That's a fact. Because my kids ain't leaving me. And that's what a real fucking father is. A real father's in all his kids' life. And ain't got to worry about kids and don't even know. Popping up out of nowhere saying, oh, this is my father. Yeah, he, he abandoned this and that. Like, I ain't got to worry about none of that shit. And it ain't my fault y'all y'all feeling some type of way. Because I speak honest and I speak truth. But I will say this. I'm not doing this back and forth shit no more. I'm not doing all this yah yah shit no more. I'm not deleting my shit like other people do. I might delete a couple of these negative fucking videos and shit. I might. I don't know yet. Thinking about it. We're going to see how the day goes. But I'm not doing this back and forth childish shit with some motherfuckers that are old enough to pay their own bills and live their own lives. Motherfuckers that send their literally deathbed and shit. I ain't got none of that shit. So unless they want to keep what they're get, they getting in a couple of weeks and they mount, best be best to leave me the fuck alone and stay the fuck away that's all i gotta say because i tell you what i ain't got my kids with. so the first time they do some stupid shit right here they're gonna see what's gonna happen to them and they ain't gonna have nobody to blame but the damn sales and that's the fact and when they're gonna call the cops after it gets done with cops are gonna tell them the same shit because guess what pop ain't gonna be nowhere around or none of that to find so guess what they be the only ones going to jail they're going to be the only ones looking stupid. The cops ain't even ask them what you did come around here for because they're going to call the cops because last time they got their asses beat in a ditch, they called the cops on me and tried to put charges on me. And that shows right there they lost because if they didn't, guess what? They wouldn't have tried to do that. But I hope everybody has a great day and a beautiful day.